sharing greatly. So like, I don't know if this book was as amazing as I thought it was, or if it's just everything I needed to hear in this point in my life. But either way, it was very enjoyable, and I'll probably be reading it again somewhat soon. You know, it was just, it was so good. It, it basically, the whole concept behind it is that you don't get rewards by sitting on the stands. You have to be down in the arena fighting your own battles. So, in essence, you have to be vulnerable. You have to put yourself out there. You have to let yourself be seen. You have to be vulnerable. You have to dare greatly, all right, because that's the whole concept about around like what makes us human. So what I mean by that is if you block out pain and vulnerability, discomfort, if you block out, you know, uh, um, all these negative emotions, you're also going to be blocking out what you really, truly desire in life, you know, happiness or health or you know love whatever you're looking for you're going to be blocking it out you're going to be blocking it out out authentic authentic human emotions like the best parts of your life because by being vulnerable you get the you get the you know greatest rewards yes you got you have to take risks in life that's what this is saying and you have to be open i mean that doesn't mean you know be super open with everyone you meet no you got to be selective about it you got to be defensive a little bit it doesn't mean just blindly go and, you know, just not have any walls up. It just means you have to know when to take them down. And you have to know when it's time to get out there and go for it. And you just have to go for it. You can't just, um, you know, numb everything. We have to, like, for example, you know, I see a lot of people on their phones all the time in, like, social settings. If there's any, like, awkward silence at all, they'll pick up their phone. And we've learned to just kind of run aw run away from uncomfortable situations and we are losing track of who we are as people when we do these things so uh like if you need internal stimulation we have so much external in stimulation but you also need internal stimulation you need to know your mind and you have to be able to deal with it when you block out the negative thoughts and the negative feelings that we have you're blocking out the positive feelings too and you're numbing your entire life to the point where you're not going to feel much at all so instead of picking up that phone or you know puffing on that cigarette or drinking every weekend spend some time in your head spend some time in your head man because uh we can we can block all these things out we can live on the internet we can you know, do all these things that alter the way we feel, but uh, eventually it all catches up to you. It will come back. And unless you learn to just face it, get down in the arena, fight your battles, whether that's in your head or with other people in the world, whatever it is, you got to get out there and do it. Because if you avoid it, it'll just leave you feeling really empty for your entire life. So this book is just incredible. It just, I mean, if you feel empty, numb, uh, or you just need a little bit of courage to get out there and try things, just read this. It might be everything you need to hear. And this, this, she's just the um, Brene Brown. She's so intelligent. Uh, you know, she probably wouldn't admit it because she's so humble. But this was a, uh, this was really good. The thoughts that go through this woman's mind are kind of incredible. So. Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. Definitely check it out. If you guys have any comments, leave them below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and uh, that subscribe button. And I will see you guys soon.